welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Psalm 62. We are looking at the 10 secrets of an unshaken life. And we uh, started looking at number eight, the stewardship of money. And David said, we can't make money by extortion or by stealing. Those are unethical ways of earning money. And uh, we read in the Bible that Judas was a thief. Just imagine that. He was part of the twelve. He was living in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. And yet, in his heart, he uh, was uh, robbing. And uh, he was called out as being a thief. And uh, so, David and uh, Paul are exhorting us that we should not steal. I use two hedge words in order to describe how we should work. We should work honestly and we must work hard. Those are two hedge words. Very simple, but very important. I must work honestly. And that means that uh, the time factor comes into play. If uh, I'm expected to work eight hours, then I do work eight hours. That's honesty. I'm punctual. And uh, when I take the breaks, I stick to time. And uh, I don't uh, get caught in phone calls outside of my job uh, during my work hours. Uh, I, as a practice, uh, don't call uh, people at their workplace unless it is absolutely necessary to do so. And I always get their permission. Is it okay if I can talk to you for two minutes? So we must be careful that we maintain our integrity when it comes to honesty in work. That's one of the ways that we witness to our unsaved friends. They look at our work ethic and uh, they will be impressed. And we are working not for man, we are working as unto the Lord. The Lord's eye is always upon us. And so we work in the fear of the Lord. And uh, people are going to be uh, very touched by our integrity and by our commitment to work and uh, to the prosperity of the company that we are working for. And for me personally, I'm involved in the Lord's work. No one is supervising me. No one is looking over my shoulder every day to see what I'm doing. But I have to remind myself that the Lord is watching me. I'm accountable to the Lord and to man. Yes, accountability goes both ways. And uh, I, at the end of the day, should be able to say, today I worked honestly. I maximize my time. There was no idling time uh, today. So it must be honest work and then it must be hard work. I must work hard. There must be no room for laziness. I must not be accused of being lazy. I must be known as a person who is industrious. So integrity and being industrious should uh, be characteristics of my Christian witness. So I must uh, put the best I can. I must do the best that I can and uh, use all my expertise, use all my skills in making sure that uh, the work that I have done is of top class quality. And uh, for example, for me personally, every time I prepare a Bible study or a sermon, I put in a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of research, uh, dependence upon the Holy Spirit. And once everything has been put on paper, I first submit it to the Lord. And I say, Lord, are you pleased with this? And uh, are there things that need to be deleted? Are there things that need to be added? Lord, please show me. 
And uh, that's how it works for me uh, in my uh, calling. And uh, your calling will be, of course, different. But uh, here is another I word, inspection. So there is uh, integrity, industry, and inspection. My work, yes, is going to be inspected as to whether it's of top quality. And I must please the Lord, and I must also please my human boss. And uh, that is where recognition comes in. And that is where promotions come in. And uh, here is another I word, increments uh, come into play when uh, God recognizes and man recognizes uh, my uh, uh, capabilities and my honest hard work, and I get rewarded. Uh, God is a God who loves to reward. And uh, work is one area where God rewards us. When I'm uh, very responsible in the little things, uh, God is going to open up the bigger dose of opportunity and give me even greater responsibilities. So to live an unshaken life, it means stewardship of money. And of course, we get our money through our work primarily, and we must be committed to honest, hard work and never resort to unethical ways of getting money. Amen.